in this module we would be looking at investment contract so far we have discussed sale contracts we have discussed lease contracts and now we are going to discuss islamic investment contracts and uh, in the classification of contracts which we covered quite a few segments back we mentioned that investment contracts are very important in the context of islamic economics and of course in the context of islamic banking and finance as well before i go into details of islamic investment contracts in a general way i would like to mention an an interesting observation jab hum islami kutub ka mutala karte hain तो हमें इन्वेस्टमेंट का भी रेफरेंस मिलता है माल का भी रेफरेंस मिलता है और माल के मुतल क्वाइट अ नंबर ऑफ इंजंक्शंस आर देयर एंड एक्सप्लेन वेरी प्रॉपरली एक चीज जो के इस्लामी कुतुब में नहीं मिलती वो है सेविंग्स सेविंग्स अपरेंटली आर एम्फेसाइज अपॉन in an economic especially macroeconomic frame, framework but there is very limited in fact lo, no mention of savings in islamic literature in a positive context jahan bhi saving iddikhar kehte hain isko arabic mein savings ka ki baat aayi hai iddikhar ki baat aayi hai to usko negative context mein liya gaya so there is no emphasis on savings savings are actually considered as an idle activity and savings are frowned upon in an islamic context they are okay if the savings the wealth is invested so there are quite a number of islamic investment contracts and arrangements which are being used in the context of islamic banking and finance as well so basic uh, principles uh, related with investment uh, contracts uh, are number 1 uh, there is no fixed return on the investments so this is uh, an important thing no fixed return investment is a business activity it is risky and hence there could be a possibility of loss and of course everyone would like to go for investment in the hope of earning some profit however in case of investments expecting a fixed return that is not possible now in an islamic framework the partners into an investment activity they must be treated as per their investment shares when a loss occurs nuksan jab ho jaye to jis jis proportion ke sath investment kisi bhi business mein ki hui hogi uske mutabiq hi loss bardasht karna hoga maslan do aadmiyon ne 50 50000 rupaye ek business mein lagaye hain aur 50 पचास हजार का मतलब यह है कि जी एक लाख रुपया टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट की है साल बाद अगर तीस हजार का नुकसान हो गया तो पंद्रह हजार एक का नुकसान होगा पंद्रह हजार दूसरे का नुकसान होगा इस्लाम में ये नहीं है कि जी एक का नुकसान बीस हजार का हो गया दूसरे का दस का हो गया प्रॉफिट ऑन द अदर हैंड साइड कैन बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद एनी agreed profit distribution ratio loss would always be borne with respect to the investment shares now the simplest form of investment activity is an investment agency this is also known as wakala bil istithmar or we simply use it as wakala istithmar what happens in this case 
in this case the investment agent receives the money and invests in a specific agreed business activity this business activity could be an actual shop it could be investing in stocks of listed companies or it could be any legitimate or sharia compliant activity whatever profit is generated if there is any that would be actually the profit of the investors the investment agent would receive a fixed fee or a fee proportionate to the investment amount so in this case there is no profit or profit loss sharing in the context of investment investment agent just receives a fee however there are two other arrangements mudaraba and musharaka in which case there is profit sharing and there is profit loss sharing mudaraba and we would go through it in some detail in one of the forthcoming segments it is a profit sharing arrangement musharaka is a profit loss sharing arrangement in case of wakala istithmar there is no profit sharing between the investment agent and the investors unless the investors have agreed to give a proportion of the profit to the investment agent as a bonus 